channel. On the last video I mentioned how I intend to supplement the cost of this channel and I mentioned also that I would do a video spelling out some of the details and I'm going to do that right now. As longtime watchers know, I've traveled a fair amount in this world. I've been to 20 different countries other than the United States. I've lived in three countries a year or more other than the United States. I lived in Japan for a little over three years. I lived in Ecuador for three years. And through a number of times, I've lived in Colombia for considerably over a year. But in all my travels, most of that travel was just me alone, without knowing other languages. Now, to this day, I still struggle with Spanish. It's, it's a most difficult language. But I have enough to get around. I do fine. But in a lot of these other countries, in Asia and in Europe, and south of the border, I just didn't know those languages, but I managed to do okay despite that. I have a fair amount of experience on dealing with other societies, on how to get around, how to be safe, how to accomplish things, particularly if you're lacking language skills. I'm going to apply that here. Now I ran down quickly, and I'll do a quick refresher here, uh, ways to contribute to the channel. Well, first one is the Patreon account, and that's basically a monthly subscription. It tends to be smaller amounts, $5, $10, you know, there's, there's a couple that are more, but they tend to be reoccurring smaller amounts, basically coffee money. The second way that you can contribute to the channel is the GoFundMe account. Now, in the GoFundMe account, if you want to do a one-time, or if you want to contribute to something in particular, or larger amounts tend to come through on the GoFundMe account. The third thing is the sponsorship, and that's pending. I'm working on that. I just decided in the last couple weeks that I'm going to pursue that, and so I'll let you know on that. I had this idea, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. But you see sometimes on uh, various YouTube channels, they sponsor, uh, or they have for sale, uh, T-shirts. And I would love to make a T-shirt that says, it's Colombia, not Colombia. I think that would just make the best T-shirt, especially if I do it in black. But that's just a whim. But I'm working on the sponsorship part of this. And the last one, which I think will be of interest to many of you, particularly since I have been asked time and again for the last couple years if I would please provide this as a service. And I've just always declined. I would give, you know, some information. I would meet with some people for, you know, a short conversation. But I never had any interest in applying myself to doing that in depth and getting paid for it. I am going to do that. So all of you that have asked me over and over and over to do it, I expect to hear from you. What is this going to amount to? Essentially, whatever it is you're looking for, I'll give you a price and you decide if you want to proceed with it. I have information in the uh, in the comment area or the information area below this video. So you could take a look at that. It's not set in stone yet, but it's where my thinking is. It, it may very well change one way or the other. But I have spent some time sitting down comparing people that are doing that, uh, you know, what kind of expenses there are, what they're charging for it, and, you know, I wanted to be somewhat in the ballpark of that. So, uh, you know, I'll work on that. But there'll be sc Skype calls, and basically it'll be an hour or more, whatever you decide that you need. My suggestion would be that we do an hour, and then you see where you are after that. I will provide in-person time. So if you're coming, for example, to Armenia, 
and you want to meet up and spend a day going over things about Armenia in particular, uh, I'll be available for that. And again, whatever it is that you want to do, I'll quote you that beforehand to make sure that's something you're interested in. I also will be offering city to city in Colombia. So exam for example, let's say you're going to fly into Bogota and you would like to have somebody meet you in Bogota and then bring you to Armenia or Pereira or Manizales, somewhere in the coffee region, then I can be available for that. So I'll go up to Bogota, I'll meet with you. Um, it'll be an overnight in Bogota and we'll catch a bus on the bus. It'll be a good time to have conversations, Q&A. We'll have hours to talk about what to expect, what to look for, uh, any kind of questions you have, I think it'll be a good time. And since I've lived in all three of those cities, I have some pretty good knowledge about them. Then of course, I've been asked this again and again and again, and I was going to do it. I was actually, I agreed that I would probably do it, but then when the time came, I was just too busy, and I let two people down because they wanted to do it. Now what is that? They wanted to know if I would go with them from Cuenca to Armenia because they wanted to learn what the bus routes were because it's a little perilous. I don't mean as in danger with criminals, but I mean perilous as in getting the right buses, getting the right routes, making the right choices, knowing what's to come so you know what to do uh, as you're going along on this trip. It takes a little while to learn those things, and of course I've made so many trips here now that uh, I know exactly what to do. And so if those people or other people are interested to come from Cuenca and take a look here, I will go to Cuenca, meet up with you, we'll get the tickets the next day, we'll head out, and we'll come back to Armenia or Pereira or Manizales, basically the coffee region and we'll have lots of conversation along the way everything you could ever want to know I'll have that available as well and the final aspect of of this consulting idea will be basically relocation for those who want to move here maybe you want to come and do a week or two to kind of check it out, scope it out, and if you come you don't really know what to look for, where to go, there's a lot of questions you're going to have but you don't know who to ask. Again, this is something where I can meet you at the airport uh, before you arrive. I can help you make some choices for a short-term stay. If you're actually moving here, I can help you uh, get a reasonable rate on a nice rental in the right kind of area. I can help you find furniture, all of the things that you're going to need to set yourself up that I've been through, I can help you with that. The very virtue of having that information will save you a lot of headaches and a lot of money. And so whatever money you spend on that will probably come back to you in savings from the pit holes that uh, most of us that go through that process we don't know and we kind of step in it here or there a lot of it might be just little annoyances some of it can be substantial amount of money being able to work certain angles on rentals that alone will probably pay for whatever this would cost you and of course if you want to get your visa and your cedula i can take you to an immigration office they can process it for you, get all that taken care of. You know, driver's license, all of those things that I'm familiar with, I can help you with that. If you want to visit certain areas, some of the tourist areas or other towns or coffee farm, I can either arrange that for you or I can go with you as part of that. So basically I'm your man on the ground who can expedite a lot of things that you need and steer you away from things that are just going to be you know a big mistake oh I always wanted to you know that's really not a good idea and here's why it's basically 
ready to start. All you have to do is send me an email. We'll put the email address. Uh, you'll find it again in the comment section uh, below the video. In future videos, we'll have all the information. So all you have to do is send me an email and spell out what it is that you're looking for and uh, be specific as possible. Ask me how much. I'll get back and I'll say, here's what I'll do it for. And then you can decide if you want to proceed or not. So that's it. I hope this goes over well. I, based on the amount of requests over the past couple years for this very thing, uh, it should be the solution to the issues that I have. I really look forward to people supporting the channel to keep it going and I also look forward to me being able to actually work to provide a value. So that's it. Now I can get back to doing videos about Columbia. See you later.